Apples, A to Z. Words by Margaret McNamara. Pictures by Jake Parker. A is for apples. Fox loves apples. Apples are one of the most popular fruits in the world. Every year, about 68 million tons of apples are harvested. B is for blossoms. By late spring, apple trees are covered in blossoms or flowers. When the blossoms fall off the tree's branches, the fruit begins to form. C is for cider. Bear makes cider by pressing apples, skin, seeds, and all into a cloudy, pulpy juice. Cider can be served hot or cold. D is for deciduous. Apple trees lose their leaves in the fall. This makes them deciduous trees. E is for eating. Fox and his friends eat raw apples, cooked apples, and dried apples. Delicious. F is for fruit. An apple is a kind of fruit. Some other fruits are oranges, bananas, and grapes. Fruits contain seeds and come from flowering plants. G is for grafting. Fox attaches a branch of one kind of apple tree to a branch of another. This is called grafting. It can produce stronger, healthier trees and tastier apples. H is for harvest. Fall is harvest time. When ripe apples are picked from the trees, apple picking is more fun with friends. I is for ice. Apple trees are very hardy, but winter ice storms can break branches and keep fruit from growing in the spring. J is for juice. Apple juice, like cider, is pressed from apples, but apple juice is filtered to be clear. K is for kitchen. A kitchen is the best place to make applesauce. Fox and Bear cut up some apples spoon them into a pot, add a little water and sugar, then simmer it on the stove until it is done. L is for leaves. Apple leaves are oval shaped with small points. The edges of the leaves are toothed. M is for markets. Farmers markets and grocery stores are filled with many varieties of apples. Fox looks for Granny Smith one of his favorite kind of apples. N is for nutritious. Apples are a very healthy natural food. They have no fat. They contain fiber, which helps your stomach digest other foods. O is for orchard. An apple orchard is an apple farm. Apples are grown in every state in the United States and in every province in Canada. P is for pollen. Pollen from apple blossoms make it possible for an apple fruit to form inside the flower. Bees help move the pollen from one apple blossom to another. Q is for quarters. Fox cuts his apples into quarters, four pieces of the same size. How many quarters make a half? R is for ripe. The ripe red apple is irresistible. The coddling moth caterpillar likes eating them as much as fox does. S is for seeds. Fox cuts an apple in half. In the center is a star shape with five points, and each point of the star contains a seed. T is for trees. All apples grow on trees. Some apple trees can grow to be 100 years old. U is for underground. The roots of an apple tree spread underground. Roots soak up the water and nutrients and keep the tree from falling down. V is for varieties. There are hundreds of varieties of apples. Each variety looks and tastes different. Try them all. W is for wax. Fox rubbed an apple on his shirt, polishing the natural wax on the apple's skin. The wax helps keep the apple from drying out. 
X is for an X and an apple pie. It's as easy as pie to make an apple pie. And rolling out the dough is a lot of fun. Cut an X in the top of the pie dough to let steam escape while the pie bakes. Y is for yield. One tree can produce hundreds of apples. The apples collected from the tree are called its yield. Z is for zero. Fox ate the last apple. Now there are zero apples left.